All right, I'm fixing to cut me out 30 of these, which will end up looking like these. And I've had a lot of people ask me about my chickens. I guess I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna have to tell you what I did. <laughs> I had to get rid of my chickens. And uh, the reason, it's kind of personal. So uh, I had to get rid of my chickens. It was something I had to do. And uh, that's really all I want to say about it. So I don't know what else to say. <laughs> so moving along now. Let me get to uh, let me get to cutting these out. I think I have enough to do 30. And for the walkthrough gate, I have some 7 16 rod that uh, I got plenty to make spikes for that one. So. Here we go. Let me see how many cutting blades I go through. Wouldn't you know it. I got 29. I need 30. There's just no more, no more bits and pieces. I'm going to have to go to either Tractor Supply or Ace Hardware to get me one more threaded rod. So, we'll be back. I've got one here that's a half inch short. And apparently at one time used to stir paint. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this. Uh, I don't want to drive to town for... One piece of threaded rod just to get six inches out of it. And uh, so anyway, I'm gonna get the sharpening points on these and cleaning the ends off where a, a nut will thread on them. So there we go, 30. All right, let's get to work. Jeez, this is gonna take a little longer than I thought. But look at the point on them. I'm changing my name to Brad the Impaler. Okay, only 25 more to go. <laughs> I have dogs everywhere. Spring is here. The trees are budding out. The temperatures are coming up. And uh, I actually have one of those uh, short sleeve shirts whose sleeves go all the way to your wrists. But uh, it won't be long, I won't need them. Spring is here. Well, I got, I got 10 of them done. And uh, good Lord, I got 20 to go. And I went out and counted and it turns out I'm eight short. So I uh, gotta go to town and get two half inch threaded rods. And, uh, but I did manage to get the walkthrough gate done because uh, I used uh, 7 16 threaded rod. I'm going to go down and show you that. Would you climb over that? You would be tenderized if you did. Make sure to put some paint on it. I'll show you what it looks like when it's painted. And uh, then I'm fixing to go to Ace Hardware. There we go. I pity the fool trying to get in my yard. Okay, 38 more. And uh, then my next plan is to walk around in my yard with a shotgun and a bandolier, wearing my bathrobe and fuzzy bunny slippers. And I think my neighbors will stay out of my yard. Hey, I just wanted to show you, this is the threaded rod that I'm cutting my six inch pieces out of. And uh, then over here, <coughs> this is what they look like. This is how I put the point on them.
And then I come over to this one. Dunk it in the water again, put a couple of nuts and a couple of washers. Got 30 done. I need to cut eight more of these off. Three washers, one more nut. This is a lot more work than I thought. Okay. All right, I got my holes drilled. The dogs are going nuts. <laughs> I got my bucket of pointy things. Now I'm fixing to start mounting them and tighten them, them up. Okay, there's what I got done yesterday. Uh, I'm shooting this now because uh, the sun is setting behind me and it's going to be dark here in a minute. I haven't quite gotten these tightened up. Uh, I'm actually, that's where I've got from here down. And I'm going to get them tightened up for the, you know, for a go in. But uh, I just wanted to see you, let, let you see what it looks like. Uh, tomorrow, I will come out and put two coats of black on it and uh, paint it up real nice so they'll kind of blend in. My wife, I was going to paint them red and... And uh, my wife got to thinking, you know, we don't want to look like the village crazy people. So, so I painted them black. They'll be a little bit more subtle. And uh, I'm going to put some barbed wire. I'm going to come up off of this with something, like a pole or something. And then here too. And then I'm going to cover it with barbed wire. And then I'm going to go down here just a ways with barbed wire. The way I look at it, if someone drives up and sees all these spikes on my gate, <laughs> they know I, I don't want them in here. And if they come in anyway, then they're probably intending me no good. And uh, I think these spikes will keep 90% of the people that might have intentions uh, coming on my property to steal. I think it might make 90% of them go away and the 10% that wouldn't care are the 10% I know how to handle. All right, I'll show you what this looks like. I want to get it all painted. See you tomorrow. Okay, we're painted and uh, we're done. Done project. I just got a couple of signs I got coming. Uh, private property, no trespassing. Homeowner is insane and armed. Uh, that was a fun little project. A lot of work. And uh, you know my thinking, uh, this gate was really, I, I overbuilt it, it's way too heavy. So I figured, why not add another 20 pounds to it? I like it. Okay, my next uh, little thing I'm gonna do out here is uh, add some uh, poles to the two corner post there and some barbed wire and then just make it look like it's You know, I just want the front of the house where people come down here and turn around and I just want the front of the house to look uh, <clears throat> Not impenetrable, but uninviting at least Okay, thanks for watching uh, One last thing I've had uh, Dozens and dozens of people suggest I put a wheel at the end of my gate uh, and here's why it won't work and I'll let you figure out my gate opens inward uphill so uh, 
picture that in your mind and why a wheel wouldn't work. But thanks for the advice anyway. You poor mistreated dog. That pillow's probably not even very soft. Is that a soft pillow? No, see, that's just barely soft. You are living in unacceptable conditions. You poor mistreated dog. Why do you have so many eye boogers, huh? Yuck. Yeah, he got a pretty rough life. Middle of March, you get your hair cut. Middle of March, you get a, a buzz cut. And now through the summer, we keep you cut. It also keeps these eye boogers down, too. You good boy. You good boy.